again. Part two. Part two. Um, another thing on my mind today. Um, another thing. My mind's been going crazy um, last night and today, this morning, thinking about health shit because I'm a fucking geek. And um, I want to put this in video because I think it's important. Everything that I think of um, is important for my journey. If I can help someone else, cool. So, my mind is oxygen. Oxygen in the system. Um, and the importance of something as basic as oxygen. And what it does, and what it can do for your health when you get lots of oxygen into your system by natural means, I'm talking about. Well, you can do other means, um, but it's very powerful, oxygen. So, number one, when you get less oxygen in your system, you're going to need less sleep. Someone just posted on it about how much sleep they need when fasting. And I saw that, and that's what made me think of what I've been thinking about this morning, which is the more oxygen in your system, the less sleep you'll need. Fact. How crazy. The less sleep you'll need because you've got more oxygen. Right? It's almost like you pe unhealthy people need a lot of sleep because they've got low oxygen in their body, basically. And the more oxygen you put in, the more you do, the more fruit eating, the more fasting. Because fasting puts lots of oxygen system so does grounding so does fruit eating so does uh, sun gazing so does aged urine holy shit that puts a lot of oxygen in your system so all these fat in urine therapy distilled water puts a lot as well not as much as aged urine but the more oxygen you get into your system the less sleep you'll need because you are healthier a great indication of health is how much, you, how many, how much sleep do you need and the more oxygen you have, the, the the less sleep time you'll need. You can be more refreshed. But I've been thinking about it. It goes deeper, this oxygen thing. It goes a lot deeper. Because when you digest your food, you need oxygen as well to digest your food efficiently and quickly as possible. So the less oxygen you have in your system at the time you eat your food, the longer it's going to take to digest your food. So if you've got high oxygen at point where you eat your food, you will have no issues with digestion. It will go through very quickly because your body needs oxygen for digestion. It actually does. So a highly oxygenated system, because you're doing breath work, aged urine, grounding, sun gazing, all this shit, will make you uh, uh, digest food quicker. And then the, the quicker and more efficiently your food digests, the more your body, more free time your body's got to actually do the healing work which it needs. So you don't want your digestion to be a labor process of you know, you don't want it to be like that. And it won't be in an unhighly oxygenated system. By the way, fruits are great for that because fruits um, digest really super quick already. And they oxygenate your system because they alkalize. Alkalize oxygen, same bloody thing. So think on that. Oxygen, it's crazy. If you do some breath work before bed, um, you do some yoga, which oxygenates your system. Meditation also ox is um, adding extra oxygen to your system. All these things will mean you, you have less sleep. But it even goes deeper. I've been thinking a little bit about um, dreaming. So, here's a reason why I think normal people don't dream and don't remember their dreams as vividly as healthy people. Certainly, I've noticed that my dreams get super vivid um, when I'm doing aged urine, I'm rubbing it on my temples, when I'm on my protocols, more with aged urine, when I'm fasting, more. I remember when I'm fasting, when we're fasting, holy shit, our dreams come crazy. But the reason why we are more inclined to remember our dreams and have more vivid dreams it's also to do with oxygen everything is oxygen is what i'm saying you're more likely to have quality dreams you're more likely to have dreams of meaning you're more likely to have vivid dreams you're more likely to remember your dreams when your system is highly oxygenated that's what i've noticed because i've been doing breath work when i can't sleep at night we all wake up at some point in the night don't we and we have that gap i think no one goes straight out for eight hours so i have a gap um, when i wake up Four hours in, whatever, and then I'll do some booty echo breath holds, which is amplifying the oxygen in my system, it's breath work. And then, next thing you know, I'll go back to sleep. Um, when I do go back to sleep, I'll remember my dreams. And then, it, it, you know, that makes me think it's oxygen that makes you remember your dreams. A highly oxygenated body is a highly alkaline body. Same thing. 
same fucking thing. If your body's highly oxygenated, it's also highly alkalized. So you could say highly alkalized body means equals less sleep, equals better dreams, equals quicker digestion. They're all the same thing, oxygen and alkaline. That's a really important message that people need to understand. They're the bloody same thing. Um, they really are. Yeah, but that's, that's it. If you remember your dreams better, you want less sleep, you want to be healthier, you want to digest your food quicker, start doing work, the grounding, start doing it's one of the things it does. Yeah, that's what, all I want to say. Rush that one out. Just oxygen is super powerful, and a highly oxygenated body will do these things. It will give you more energy. You will feel more present at the moment. You will need less sleep. You will feel better, and you will remove toxins quicker. Because another thing, no oxygen can be removed. No toxin can be removed from your body without oxygen. I repeat what I just said. No toxins can be removed from your body without oxygen. So on that note, cheers guys, thanks for watching. Oxygen, man.